on NBC. Live from New York, The Tonight Show, starring Johnny Carson. Johnny's guests tonight are Woody Allen, William Walker, Gila Golan, Chriswell, The Muppets, and live visits to Times Square, welcoming in the New Year. You know what is worth your life to get into this building? Yeah, it's very difficult. I was outside briefly. Am I right, friends? Yeah. <laughs> oh, oh. I think they're, they're not hostile. But they're a little sore about downstairs. I don't know what it is. I don't know what it is. I tried to get in the door, and I was barred. I walked on the other side, and it's tough when you've been here, you know, three and a half years. You know, you walk in, and the guard says, who are you? Yeah. I mean, it gives you a funny feeling, really. But, so I know how you feel, friends, and we're sorry that you were uh, detained downstairs. But there was some problem in the building. They could not allow the doors to just be open as they normally would for some vandals or something. I don't know. So we're awfully, we like to apologize. Right? Remember last and I year? didn't get a chance to see you. Yeah. And I'm, I don't mean to interrupt, but I have, I've, all day I've been trying to see you. I have a bit of a problem. I have some guests in town tonight. Yeah. And I wonder if you could you handle a small check for me? No. A what? Just a small check. Money? Just a little small check. I didn't get any cash. A little tiny, little small oh, check. Oh, get out of here. <laughs> <laughs> have you seen this? It's a real check. Look at this. They claim you can write a check on anything, the back of a menu or anything, as long as you put the bank in your name. And there's a check. I'd like to make that out for about... Uh, Three cents. Would you handle that? Beautiful. I can just about handle that. In cash? Yes. Okay. So. <laughs> what were you starting to say about last year? Well, I was, remember last year when we finished work here, last New Year's Eve. Remember we couldn't get out of the building. Do you remember that? Yeah. Uh, seriously. Yeah. We couldn't get... Was, it may happen again know. tonight, friends. So. <laughs> 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 we may be locked here all night. I don't 1.30 know. or quarter till two and none of us could get out of here. Something must happen. There must be a reason because every night you can come in all the doors. Tonight every door was closed and yes. you had to go through a certain system. So. Just security for our Prince John. Was it to protect our Prince? Yes, it's to protect our Prince. They have soldiers downstairs and the drawbridge is up. Really? <laughs> Are the sharks in the water? They're in the water, boy. We go to great lengths here to protect our star. We want nothing to happen to him. May I place Kitch has got two children to get through college. I have four. We want everything. Our star must be protected at all times. We must very be careful about it. May that. I place some music for the festivities that will later proclaim the heralding of our prince? <laughs> After that, you'd have to. <laughs> I leave everything to you, he, sir. He loves the German polkas. He does? He loves them, so I got one from Lichtenstein. You're kidding me. I'm not kidding. Oh, wait till he gets all of you. <laughs> and...
the most disreputable performances I've ever seen. <laughs> Begging the question like that, with that hokey whistle oh. and horn. The hokey polka. You shouldn't start out the program with a hokey polka. It's written that way. With a whistle like that? Yes, of course. Sure. That appears in the music? That's called traps, yes. <laughs> he says it with a straight face, man. Johnny Carson will be here very shortly. He's on his white horse outside. <laughs> He, he has said a big John. spear. I didn't say one word, John. He was doing all the talking he about that. He has a big that. spear. He was saying all those bad things about you. I, your pal. He has all a time. lace collar on. He was the one that said that, John. We'll be back shortly. <laughs> At least I will. I don't know about him. Johnny Carson will be here. Please hey! stay tuned. This New Year's Day, NBC is a panorama of spectacle and sport. Starting Saturday morning at 10.30, 9.30 Central Time, with a fabulous Orange Bowl parade in color direct from Miami. Immediately following, the scene changes to Pasadena, California, for the world-famous Tournament of Roses, the Queen of Pageants in color. Then it's kickoff time for the great bowl game. First, Missouri versus Florida in the Sugar Bowl. Next, Michigan State battles it out with UCLA in the Rose Bowl. Then in Florida, Nebraska tangles with Alabama for the Orange Bowl crown. All in color and all exciting. Yes, all day long, the great parade. The top football drills and more are all yours in color Saturday, New Year's Day, on NBC. When you get in your car, what's the first thing you do? Put the key in the ignition, adjust the mirror, release the handbrake, and drive, right? Wrong. Dead wrong. If you didn't include buckling your seatbelt as part of your routine. Here's why. According to the National Safety Council, four out of five accidents happen within 25 miles of home. That means while you drive, even short distances from home, you're vulnerable to maiming accidents, even death. But when you buckle your seatbelt, you have an extra margin of safety between you, the wheel, the dash, and windshield of your car. See what we mean? So every time you get in your car, do this. Put the key in the ignition, adjust the mirror, release the handbrake, and make it a habit. Always buckle your seatbelt. We're back, Ed. Oh, would you, <laughs> would you care for a limerick? Oh, by all means, yes. <laughs> a certain young lady named Hannah was caught in a flood in Montana. Banana. As she floated away, her bow, so they say, accompanied her on the piano. <laughs> I have nothing to do with the security of the building. If they won't let me, it's not my responsibility. Yes. There was a young fellow from Fife who had a big row with his wife. He lost half his nose, two-thirds of his toes, one ear, seven teeth, and his life. Perhaps music would be more in keeping. Uh, what, the, what do you want to do? You can announce the selection. It will take a minute or two.
you understand? You cannot be disreputable like this. The prince has not come out yet. When he comes out, may I be disreputable? Yes, you can be as disreputable as you always are, but not till the prince comes out. I tore my music. <laughs> well, you are a murderer. Uh-oh. I did. Oh! What happened? There was a sword just came from the woodwind section, right? <laughs> Please explain to all of us what happened. Well, you know when I said I tore up my music? Yes. Somebody asked, applauded. Did you get the message? I mean, in this section back here. Somebody back here. Could you pinpoint? Names, please. No names. No Could names. we ask the other members to tell us who it was? Oh, I think Doc would be happy. To Doc, who was it, Doc? Don Ashworth. <laughs> Don Ashworth, please stand. No. Anything Don Ashworth says is all right because he's a sailor. He's a sailor? He's a sailor. That gives him some He's special ability? <laughs> <laughs> He's a drunken sailor. I don't know. Would you like to try one more limerick? Please? Oh! No! <laughs> yes! Yes! Let me, wait, wait. Perhaps, perhaps if I frame it a little. How would you like to hear the last limerick of 1965? Yes! Let's get to it. There was a young man of devices yeah. whose ear were of different sizes. The one that was small was of no use at all, but the other won several prizes. Oh. Johnny will be here very soon, I hope. Stand by. Oh, yeah! See the Orange Bowl Parade tomorrow morning at 10.30, 9.30 Central Time. From New York, live, The Tonight Show, starring Johnny Carson. Johnny's guests tonight are Woody Allen, William Walker, Gila Golan, Chris Well, The Muppets, and live visits... Times Square, welcoming in the new year. Skitch Henderson with the NBC Orchestra and me. I'm Ed McMahon. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to The Tonight Show. Johnny Carson will be here in just 60 seconds. Right now, a word from one of our sponsors, L&M Filter Cigarettes. side is for people who want taste in a cigarette and plenty of it. Come on over to the l and side, just for the taste of it. Venez tous du côté l and m Venez-y comme tous les gens du goût. Venez donc, vous serez content de vous. Oui, venez tous du côté l and m Come on over to the l and m side. Just for the taste of it. Hi, everybody. What is this all about, Caroline? Well, I'll tell you, this is Chase and Sanborn Coffee. We're uh -huh. having a swinging party, aren't we? A swinging party with coffee? Why, of course. Who ever heard of a good party without heftier Chase and Sanborn Coffee? Maybe that's, that's right, I think. You really think yeah, so? Yeah, I'll I try some. <laughs> that's for the crew. Oh, you're playing favorites again? No, no. Now, Ed, don't you worry, because you'll get your Chase and Sanborn later. A big cup. Heftier with extra flavor. That's what I want. Extra richness. Meanwhile, how about giving me some help? All right. Why don't you pour these just delicious planters dry roasted nuts in this bowl? Oh. These are great, aren't they? Oh, they sure are. They're crispy good. Cashews. Go ahead My now. You're gonna... Oh, he <laughs> loves his work, this man. <laughs> That's wonderful, you know. They're just so dry to the touch. Mm-hmm. See? They are, really. Mm -hmm. You know that? And so light to the taste. You know, dry roasted may means they're made absolutely with no fats or oils that add calories. 
Are you trying to uh, tell me something? To... Oh, no, Ed, I wouldn't do that. I'm just reminding everybody the best of parties are even better with heftier Chase and Sanborn coffee and Planters dry roasted nuts. Well, actually, uh, <laughs> I wouldn't go so far as to say that, John. I'm not an authority on three-way action, but F and F, the folks that make F and F, and of course the antiseptic throat eggs, they are authority on the three-way action that you want when you're suffering from painful minor sore throat pain. When you have a raspy, rugged throat and it hurts, well, that's why there's salicylamide in antiseptic throat aids to soothe painful throat membranes. That's why there's Banacol to kill millions of germs on contact. And that's why there's terpenhydrate to relieve congestion. Relief, yes, and pleasant tasting too. You'll like the cool minty flavor of antiseptic throat aids as they dissolve in your throat. Now remember for a cold, follow whatever advice you think best, rest, aspirin, or a cold capsule. But for the miserable sore throat that you have, get soothing relief with antiseptic throat aids. Brought to you by the folks who make F and F cough lozenges, which also contain germ-killing Banacol. You know how they do it? While astronauts whirl around the Earth, they do it with pulley power. And it's going to happen actually up there in a minute and uh, 40, 28 seconds. It's midnight in Times Square, about a minute, what am I saying, minute 10 to go. The crowd has built slowly but forcefully. You can hear the swell of that noise. There are signs sprinkled all through from youngsters hoping they'll get their hometown on the TV camera. Many of them say just happy 66. They've been shooting off those six inch or whatever salute, making a big, big bang, trying to say hello to the new year of 66, while a couple of miles from here, Mayor Lindsay is biting his fingernails and Michael Quill is holding us in the threat of a transit strike in New York. But inevitably, the clock is starting to show that the ball is moving. If you look up there, see it's moving from the 100-foot tower on the Allied Chemical Building. It used to be the Times Tower. Now the Allied Chemical Tower, it's 100 feet, 50 rather, 40, 30, 20. The ball is slowly moving as the seconds tick off. About 25 seconds to go. When it hits the bottom, it'll be the new year. And from Crest Isle in Maine to Mel Sinfilia in California, there are wishes for happiness across this broad land in the new year ahead. Just a few seconds to go, and then 2,000 watts in eight balls means 16,000 watts of happiness for the new year. Seven seconds, six, five, four, three, two, one. Happy New Year! There on the side of the Allied Capital Tower, an innovation we have it spelled out in great big letters. Didn't know about that, 1966. So there's the end of the year, which was featured with the escalation of the war in Vietnam and the Dow Jones hitting a new high, just 30 points short of a thousand, just today. Boom at the home front, increasing war overseas. Maybe this crowd feels and senses that there's, besides the warmth and good weather, we're having a sense of hope as Harriman and Kohler and Goldberg scurry about the world on the peace offensive. And the year that's going to bring us, incidentally, no more taxes and cabarets and theaters and an increase in Social Security tax for Medicare. So take it or leave it, you've got the new year of 1966. And here in Times Square, the traditional crowd, which had been building up to maybe 700,000, one of the biggest we've seen in years, just like the lemmings of Norway is scurrying off to their homes, their parties. They may have a transit strike. Some of them may be foot sore and weary. We don't know the story on that yet. Nor does the New York's newest Republican mayor, first in 20 years, Lindsay know. Meanwhile, Mayor Wagner, who's seen 12 of these, is basking in Acapulco. We wish him a happy year, too. There's the story in Times Square. To you, Johnny Carson, and to all your friends, this is Ben Grower saying, the very best to you in this new year as we look at this annual renewal of one of the amazing spectacles of American life. Why the young people, most of the young people gather here in this triangle made by 7th Avenue and Broadway, we don't know. But they do it year after year. They'll continue to do it until there is no more radio, TV, or any communication. A 
manifestation of the American spirit. Happy 66 is the word from Times Square. Now this is Ben Grauer saying the best to all of you and so long from the Hotel Astor in Times Square. Thank you. See the Orange Bowl game Saturday at 7.45, 6.45 Central Time. What a sloppy bunch of dancers we've got. Thank you, Bridget. Hey, that was fun. We're going to go over... Uh, we'll go back in a moment and see how Ben's doing, but right now... <laughs> here's Miss Caroline O'Connor, sales lady par excellence... For standard brands. Happy 1966, Caroline. Thank you very much, Johnny, and the happiest of New Year's to you, too. And you know, I'm really looking forward to this year and being part of the Tonight Show with all of the good foods from standard brands. You know, most of these fine products are already favorites of yours. Smooth, creamy, royal pudding. The one that always comes out right. Blue Bonnet, the favorite margarine of millions of women all over America. Chase and Sanborn coffee, heftier with extra flavor. Royal gelatin, the only gelatin made with vitamin C. New delicious, no-bake royal cheesecake and brighter tasting tender leaf tea. And that's only the beginning. New members of the Standard Brands family of fine foods will be appearing this year and you will hear all about them from me. Meanwhile, from all of us at Standard Brands to all of you, Thank you for counting on us for the best in foods. And a very happy new year to you all. You get all the apples out of the way as fast as possible. All righty. Now here's a word on no. five days. Here's a word on five days. The new antiperspirant deodorant, just a little bit stronger. the day with five day feel shower clean all day keep odor away with five day feel shower clean all day new five day deodorant pads really do let you feel shower clean all day they actually clean odor away as you rub protection on use one each day throw it away five day is not just a deodorant it's a deodorant and an antiperspirant, both contained in one convenient pack. Inside are two, yes, two, most effective ingredients. One protects you against odor, the other against perspiration, so... Start the day with five day, feel shower clean all day. Five day pads, cream, roll on. Just a little bit stronger to protect you against odor and perspiration, too. Do this first. And now a few words for the new year from Budweiser, King of Beers. tonight, people are greeting one another with a raised glass and the words Happy New Year. And so a toast from the Budweiser people to the many friends of The Tonight Show. To 1966, live life, every golden minute of it. Enjoy Budweiser, every golden drop of it. Happy New Year.
The L&M side is for people who want taste in a cigarette and plenty of it. Come on over to the L&M side, just for the taste of it. Venez tous du côté L&M. Venez-y comme tous les gens du goût. Venez donc, vous serez contents de vous. Oui, venez tous du côté L&M. Come on over to the L&M side. Just for the taste of it. And now here's Caroline O'Connor, Standard Brand's own Miss New Year's. Caroline? Hi, everybody. Now, uh, what is all this? Chase and Flamborn Coffee. We're having a real swinging party, aren't we? No, but coffee at a party? Why, certainly, who ever heard of a good party without heftier Chase and Sanborn Coffee? Well, maybe it's... Uh, 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 for the crew. You're playing favorites again? No, no, now, don't you worry, Ed. You'll get your Chase and Sanborn later. A big cup. Good. Full of heftier flavor. Extra richness, extra flavor. Meanwhile, how about some help over here? What would you like? Well, why don't you fill this dish up with some real delicious planter's dry roasted nuts? Mm -hmm. oh, These are good, aren't they, huh? They certainly are. They're crispy good. So dry to the touch. They really are, you know? Sure enough, yeah? And light to the taste. Mm -hmm. You know, dry roasted means they're made with absolutely no fats or oils that add calories. You're trying to tell me something. Oh, no, no, not at all. Just reminding everybody that the best of parties are even better with heftier Chase and Sanborn coffee and planters dry roasted nuts. Oh, they for me. That's a great... Sorry thing. about that. Thank you. And now for Antisept Throat Aids, here's Ed, who's an authority on three-way action. I think you have that wrong, John. I'm not the authority on three-way action. F and F's the authority on three-way action that you want when you are suffering from painful minor sore throat pain. When you have that, that raspy, <laughs> rugged sore throat and it hurts. Well, that's why there's salicylamide and antisept throat aids to soothe painful throat membranes. That's why there's Bannercol to kill millions of germs on contact. And that's why there's turpin hydrate to relieve congestion. Relief, yes, and pleasant tasting, too. You will like the cool, minty flavor of antisept throat aids as they dissolve in your mouth. Remember, for a cold, follow whatever advice you think best, rest, aspirin, or cold capsule. But for that miserable sore throat, get soothing relief with antisept throat aids. Brought to you by the folks who make F&F cough lozenges, which also contain germ-killing banacol. <laughs> 